am really concerned about the tact you've taken in the funding programs. You've only talked about programs for the youth. You've talked about the Youth Justice Fund, and you've appeared to focus on projects that work with youth to prevent them from making choices that increase their risk of coming into conflict with the law. But everyone sitting here knows that there is a systemic problem. Everyone here knows that you, you, know, you don't have to be a black youth to know that you will be stopped more than any other youth in Canada. Everybody knows that there is a systemic problem, and I'm really concerned that in all the things that you've all said, what are you doing to deal in the justice system, in the correctional system, with the issue of visible minorities and the systemic discrimination? Perhaps I can start. Some of these interventions, such as the wraparound, bring in among other services that do try to help these youth uh, attend school so they have a greater probability for uh, finding employment. Uh, no, I'm not talking about the youth. What about our systems that are discriminatory, that are systemically discriminatory? What about the police that will stop the young person, black youth in Toronto? because he's in a fancy car. How are you dealing with those? How are you dealing with the systemic issues around in the system, the systemic discrimination? You have both of you have, not, you know, both the correctional and public safety and justice. You've only focused on what happens to the youth. But what about focusing on the issues of systemic discrimination? You haven't spoken about that at all. Senator, uh, there, there are some projects that we have funded which, which have dealt with police discretion. The Youth Justice Act provides for uh, diversion of youth uh, at the front end so that they do not go into the system. Um, and so they basically uh, are diverted into programs um, as opposed to going into the actual uh, youth justice system, which then takes you, you know, with the criminal charge and eventually going, to, going before a youth justice court. Um, we've had uh, some programs in the past to educate uh, police with respect to uh, the provisions in the Act uh, concerning diversion, when it is appropriate to divert uh, youth, uh, and, and that would be the, 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 the situations where uh, the police officers would uh, exercise discretion to not send certain youth into the criminal justice system uh, or to decide that the, for various factors they will proceed with a, with, with a charge. Um, so th those are, that's, that's part of some programs that have been dealt with under the Youth, youth Justice Fund. But to a large part, given the, the mandate of the programs that justice administers, the, the youth are already in the criminal justice system. As I said at the beginning, we're dealing with the youth who are already in the system. We're not dealing with youth who are, who are not in the system. We're not dealing uh, with crime prevention. Sorry, so, you, maybe I'm not making myself clear. Mr. Paragoff, justice deals with lots of issues. You deal with issues of training judges on issues. You deal with issues of training prosecutors on issues facing Canadians. What I'm asking is, what are you doing there is no doubt that there is systemic discrimination in the system against visible minority youth. What are you doing to train on that issue? As I said earlier, uh, Senator, uh, the administration of justice, including the administration of police services, is a provincial responsibility except for the RCMP. Uh, so that is a, is a policing responsibility. It's a, it's a responsibility of the Attorney General of each province in terms of providing policy directions. Okay, answer to the me. Are you, are you dealing with it? Or you, because I, I, we have almost run out Senator, I, I, did, I did mention we had some programs okay. that dealt with, with uh, training police officers how to uh, administer the provisions of the Act that provided for diversion. Diversion is the no, I wasn't talking about diversion. But, but, okay, sorry, we've run out of time. May I please ask that you provide that? What I want, can you please provide in mm -hmm. writing, what I want is what programs are you doing to deal with systemic discrimination within the system? What, what is happening? How are you training 
RCMP when they first come in contact with uh, the, uh, a visible minority youth? How are you dealing with issues of systemic discrimination? Can you please provide that to the clerk in writing?